Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rain Dog coming at you from just outside the butler's quarters in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we started working on the foundation for what is going to become the butler's house. And uh, in this episode, we're going to carry on working a little bit on the butler's quarters over here. What I want to do is add a sort of observatory entrance type thing to the entrance of his house. Add a couple windows up in this jazz. And as you can see, I've already added a little extension over here just so that his house isn't so square. Um, and I, I think in today's episode, we're going to try and actually do the roof. See if we can get up there and do the roof. Um, in today's episode and of course the roof is going to be kind of tricky to do because now it's not just a square It's actually a square with a little piece jutting out of it and guys Thank you so much for all the freaking comments in the previous video tons of you guys were giving me such awesome ideas uh, one of which my favorite of which was uh, we need to make some sort of a toilet for the butler and his family and that is completely true man we've got a sewer network in place and what we need to do is get um, our butler's toilet connected up to that sewer network somehow so i'm not sure if we're going to have time to get to that in this episode but we're damn well gonna try um, but guys this is going to be absolutely sweet man this dude's house is going to be pimp mcdaddy man it is going to be sweet and i wanted to make like this little entrance over here for him um, and what I wanted to do was try and use a little bit of slabbage to, to make a, a nice little entrance over here. Maybe what we'll do is make all of this wood or something like that. Um, but what we don't have at the moment is a crafting table, um, even though we are currently working on a build. So let's put together a crafting table quickly. We'll put it right in the middle of this uh, almost finished house. I really love how the vines are like growing into the, uh, the house. I'm, kind of tempted to just leave it like it is if it as if it was an unfinished rune or something like that that'd be pretty sweet um, but let's try and make a little bit of slabbage and see if we can actually pimp out the front of this dude's house a bit um, it looks like what we're gonna have to do is because this is slabbage up in here okay so we actually don't even need slabbage man we can actually just build straight up spruce wood plankages um, over here for the entrance so let's have a look what that's gonna look like um, can actually get rid of these slabs. We don't need them no more. Bam! Plam! Sweet! Um, that is looking pretty sweet, man. I'm, I'm down with that. That is looking pretty good. Um, so guys, while we are, while I'm working on this, I want to talk about um, something that I watched this week that I thought was really freaking sweet. And uh, <laughs> it, it was basically a podcast put together by some of the cyberdogs on dogcraft.net. And it is called The Dog Pod. And uh, it's basically just a podcast of some cyberdogs um, talking absolute... Well, not, I wouldn't say rubbish, I would say absolutely hilarious uh, things. Talking about absolutely uh, hilarious things to do with um, the Cyberdog world, to do with their own YouTube channels, and to do with uh, life in general. And of course, there's a whole bunch of silliness that goes on also, which is <laughs> the part that I really like. And I actually really, really enjoyed that, um, that podcast, and I wanted... To, to let you guys know about it and maybe if you guys want to go and check it out if you guys are looking for, for maybe a new podcast to listen to go check out um, the the dog pod man <laughs> it is it is a podcast inspired and created by cyber dogs from dogcraft.net and uh, it is absolutely sweet so go check that out man if you are looking for something to do today maybe uh, maybe you're a bit bored um, and you're looking for something to do well I've just given you uh, a link in the description box below so go and check out the dog pod people and uh, give those cyber dogs some love for the hard work that they're doing on that side of uh, the world man um, but guys let's have a look at what is going on over here with our entrance I kind of dig I'm digging this man I am digging this and what I was thinking right is what we could do is add um, a little, like add some glowstone over here as the entrance so yeah, that, that would be an awesome idea actually let's pop into the storage rooms and get ourselves some glowstone man it's gonna be sweet <clears throat> and Matt you know just talking about the dog part and, and stuff guys there oh man I just I wish I could uh, <laughs> I wish I could just talk about everything that the cyber dog nation is putting out these days but man if, 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 
it is just absolutely crazy all the amazing stuff that Cyberdogs are making on YouTube, all the amazing LPs that are coming out, um, it, just all the work that that uh, are, it, that is coming out of Dogcraft.net and the people who, and the the community of Dogcraft.net is just absolutely awesome, man. You guys should check it out. Go check out Dogcraft.net, and then there's a section there called Your Creations, and that's basically where people can put their LPs and their fan art and and anything that they basically made. Um, and man, there is some really awesome stuff there. And I think I'll, I'll put a link to it in the in the description box below too, if you guys are curious. Um, go check that out, man. So check it out, right? These are our lights. I think that is a little bit too much glowstone. I don't know, man. Maybe this entrance is a tad too big. You know what I'm saying? But I think if we pulled it in one, it, it would be a little bit too small. I think this is about right. I think this is pretty sweet. Um, I mean, what we could do, I guess, is add, add a couple uh, glowstone bits up here. Maybe that'll look pretty sweet. Let's try that. Let's add a couple glowstones up there. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. I think I'll keep that for now. And uh, what I'm gonna try to do now is get some windows up in this chairs, man, because currently the butler's house is windowless. And uh, <laughs> you know what happens in a windowless house, man. Creepers, zombies, skeletons spawn, and I mean, can you imagine trying to take a nap, trying to have a nice sweet dream in your bed, and suddenly you wake up and there is a freaking creeper right up in your business, man. Right up in your grill, getting freaky with your ass. And uh, man, take any nightmare you've ever had and times it by about 3,000. And that'll get you almost as close to a creeper uh, going crazy uh, with the ass <laughs> uh, the moment that you wake up. So um, let's make sure that there is some light up in this place, man, or the butler and his family are going to have a freaking tough time. Um, but this is looking absolutely sweet, actually. I'm really liking this design. I don't know about this wooden part in the middle here. I think maybe what we want to do is connect up the... Uh, maybe you want to connect up the cobblestone like this around, uh, across the top here. Let's see what that looks like, man. Bam! Give me that block! Yeah, that's that's looking much better, isn't it? Actually, that is looking really awesome. Let's have a look from the outside. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm loving that, man. Man, the butler is... The butler better be happy with what I'm making him. This is a freaking sweet-ass house, if I do say so myself. I think what we're going to try to do now is actually work on the roof because I'm really curious to see if I can make the roof work the way that I want it to, right? So what I'm going to do is pick up this crafting table and let's get up to the top of the, the, the rafters of this build. Um, and of course falling off is probably going to happen because I am terrible, um, but hopefully not. Oh, and by the way, guys, I have been grinding the butthole consistently over the last few hours or so. You can see I'm on level 24 now because I've been trying to... Uh, get an infected villager in there and unfortunately we haven't got any infected villagers just yet but hopefully we will uh, get some soon man and man that is going to be absolutely sweet because that means we can actually <laughs> make the butler um we, we can cure his ass his infected butthole we can cure him and uh he will be able to come and take his position as as the the rightful butler of mole city and the mole hole and uh, he can start making me coffee man that's that, that's the most important thing right? he can start freaking doing his job man right now he's infected he's sick he's on sick leave but you know what sick leave can't wait for wait forever man seriously i need my coffee made up in this jazz man I, I, how am i supposed to survive without freaking caffeine in the veins i mean all i'm drinking now is red bush man and red bush is caffeine free I mean, seriously all right so <laughs> um, i hope you guys are, are sort of seeing what i'm trying to do here so i want the roof to to look really awesome right just using these stairs like this um, and I do, I want it, I want it to peak, but it's not actually going to peak, unfortunately. Um, that's all right. We'll leave it like that for now. But now what I want to do, so this roof goes up in this angle, right? And I want this roof, the big roof to go up in this angle. Um, and then I want them to co connect together somehow. So let's have a look if this is even going to be possible. Um, I guess what we're going to have to do, let's just get a little bit of, dirt foundation up in here. This is like polyfiller, man. I don't know how many of you guys have uh, polyfiller in your country, but it's like a this really sticky ass goo that you can put if you have like a hole in your roof or a crack in your ceiling. You just jam some polyfiller up in there and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's nuclear. It's basically nuclear strength super glue um, is the only way I can describe it, but it does the germ. <laughs> Um, okay, so this actually this roof is probably going to connect up really nicely to the second one Especially now that we've got these corner blocks um, in Minecraft. We never used to have those corner blocks 
So it was much harder to actually make grooves like this. But I'm pretty sure we have we nailed it on the head here, man. This is gonna be sweet. Check it out. This one's gonna connect also. And the butler's gonna have like a really nice high roof. And uh, this is kind of like my old house used to have. We used to have um, a really big high roof. It was a thatch roof actually. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have thatch roofs in your houses, but my old house in South Africa used to have a thatch roof and it was really, really high. And um, man, it was, it was just awesome. In the winter, it would remain really warm and in the summer, it would cool down. It was a snazzy ass house, man. Um, really, really sweet. Love that house. And you know, I've been tempted to actually remake that house at some point in Minecraft. I was thinking about making that house in Mole City, but it would actually be, I don't know, it would take up quite a lot of space just for one house. You know, in South Africa, we're, we're, we're quite spoiled, man. In South Africa, because it's quite a big country and because it's quite a new country um, compared to, say, Europe. And I think probably in America is, is the same. Um, properties are like really massive. So, you know, you have a massive property. You have like a swimming pool and a massive garden. Whereas in Europe, everything is like a lot more comp compact because, of course, it's an, an older civilization. Um, you know, and the cities have been there much longer. So it's it's been... You know, people have been learning to pack stuff into a, a crammed up city for much longer than say in, in South Africa or even in, in the States, I would think. But um, yeah, man, my house was massive. We had like a, a garden, uh, a swimming pool, like, and we had like a jungle type area in the garden where I used to go and, and hang out. Man, it was sweet. Um, and I mean, it's kind of normal in South Africa. Well, I mean, not normal if, you know, you, you've got to, you got to be fairly, you, you've got to be fairly well off to be able to afford like a house like that. But um, my parents did pretty well. So we got, we managed to have a pretty sweet house. Um, I was really lucky that way, man. That was pretty sweet. All right, so let's check it out, right? So this is looking awesome. I think what we can actually do is make this roof go a little bit higher, right? And then how's this gonna work over here? How's, how, oh God. We had to fall off at some point. Die, butthole! Blam! 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 Man, that was in his jaw. Arrow to the jaw. We should probably go and sleep, man, but I am in the zone right now. I want to freaking get my craft on. You know what I'm saying, people? You know, sometimes in Minecraft, you just, man, you just want to carry on crafting. You don't want to go to sleep. I mean, I have to go all the way up to my bedroom. I mean, what a nuisance. <laughs> um, okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, I guess what we can do is just carry on building the roof like this and let's see what happens oops man it is freaking hot in London today guys I am sweating like a freaking goat <laughs> uh, that's probably not an image that you wanted to picture in your mind but it is happening and uh, there's nothing I can do about it so uh, you know my bad <laughs> oh this uh, may maybe this means we can we can peek off this area too. Let's see, have we got some spruce wood plankage up in here? Sweet. So this is gonna connect to this roof like this. Okay, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Wrong tool. Okay, there we go, check it out, right? So, oh, I think, okay, all we gotta do is um, complete the roof more this way, right? Let's check it out. There we go. Nicely done. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Hmm. Have we got to do it like this? I think we might have to do it like this. Let's, let's, let's try this, man. Because what we got to do is try and make these corners connect, right? That's, that's what we're trying to do here. That's what we're trying to accomplish. Bam! Is that connecting? Hmm. I think it's actually, it's got to connect one down, right? So, oh man. Oh man, how are we going to solve this? I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to fiddle around with this a bit and see if I can actually solve this mystery. And uh, once I have solved it, I will bring it back. Uh, I'll bring you back on the other side of this. Kaplam! Kaplam! All right, guys, I think I've worked out how to do it. Basically, we just got to carry on building this side of the roof on this side. So that means that each row of stairs, we've got to, we've got to do one um, block forward a bit. You know what I'm saying? We've got to do it like, so now we're working on this block. So we've got to, we've got to do it here, right? And then um, 
for the last block and we've got to finish it off, right? As if we're actually building this side of the roof. Check it out, right? So we're going to finish it off. And then for the last block, um, we've got to put it over here, just like that. Sweet. There we go. Perfect. Oh man, that is epic. Nicely done. And I think what we'll do, right, is um, do a line of block just like this to like finish it off, right? There we go. That is looking absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to see this from Mall City. Let's go have a look, actually. Let's let's get down here and go have a look from Mall City. Um, have a look at what this new roof is looking like. Very, very nice. Oh, that is looking that is looking great. I'm loving that, man. So now it's not just a square um, house. Now it actually has a little bit of character, and uh, that is looking great, man. Obviously, we need to get rid of this um, this dirt over here and, and fix up that hole over there, you know, make it look a little bit better. But I think that is absolutely perfect. What we can do now is actually finish off the roof um, on this side. So let's get up here. I keep forgetting which side to face. It's, yeah, it's this side. Okay, sweet. So now we can finish off the roof. Oops. Well, that's why you always got to have a handy crafty table ready, man. Especially when constructing on a roof. What are we using here, man? We're using spruce wood planks, right? So we need to make a few more spruce wood plank steps. There we go. That should be enough. Let's check it out. Bam! Bam! Nice! Nice, very nice. Okay, so we've, we've just got one more row to do, right? And uh, all we got to do now is no <laughs> my, my bad man this I, i'm telling you man i haven't had coffee today and i cannot freaking place my blocks properly look at that man that is just some noobing out i'm just placing blocks all over the show um this is a this is if you guys have just joined me you guys must be like damn this dude is such a noob how can you have played 178 episodes of minecraft and he still can't freaking place blocks properly welcome to the Rain Dog channel man <laughs> a place where noobness thrives all right, let's finish off the top of this here roof. Looking freaking sweet. Oops. Man, just not enough stairs. Just need a couple more. Nice. Well, I gotta say, man, I am loving the look of this roof. This roof is looking absolutely sweet. Beautiful. That is exactly, basically exactly how I pictured it. So this is happy days for me. Look at this, man. It is looking absolutely beautiful. And thanks to the Minecraft corners, man. That is what is making this place look so epic. So I think what we're going to do, man, let's get rid of some of this dirt over here. And I thought that what we could do, what we'll probably have to do is another layer of spruce wood just in here to thicken up the these corners, right? Just like this. Then what I thought we would do is we could add some glass panes over here so we've got like a really nice window into the house from the top. Take that one away. Now like that and if we make like a square like that, yeah that is sweet. Okay, so and then let's try and get some glass paintage up in there, see what that looks like. Nice! Okay, let's have a look. That is looking epic. And now let's go into the house. Let's get a feel of what the house feels like inside. Very nice. Even though there's a whole bunch of dirt all around here, we need to clear all of this out. Um, and then what we're going to need to do inside is add another layer of stairs, I think, to try and um, dampen the edges of these of the roof. Although that, that does actually look pretty sweet. I might not do that. Uh, we might just leave it as is. But that is looking pretty damn awesome, people. Oh my goodness. <sighs> epic i'm so happy with this house um and man i really like the entrance too i think it's really cool um it's quite classy you know it's like this, this butler is living in in basically a mansion 
you know, this is basically the butler villa up in this jazz. Um, this definitely is better than your average servant quarters. <laughs> um, that is awesome. But guys, I want to go check out the butthole quickly, see if we've got an infected villager in there. And uh, I think what we'll do then after that is head up to the dogolith to get a couple of you guys onto the dogolith. Because it has been a while since we've been up there and uh, we'll get eight of you guys onto, onto the dogolith today. Um, so the butthole is full and uh, there is a skeddy down there too. And uh, this butthole is completely and utterly full. I am not seeing... I am not seeing a... an infected villager in there, are you guys? Do not kill infected villager! Whatever you do! Ooh, a carrot! <laughs> well, thank you very much! I'll take that carrot, glad! Right, so no infected villagers in this batch um, of butthole indigestion, but hopefully we will get an infected village, villager at some point. Now, some of you guys were saying, why you want to only, why do you want to cure infected villagers to populate the whole city? Well, I don't want to cure like hundreds of infected villagers. I only want to cure a few because remember, villagers actually breed if you make them um, a nice house to live in. So hopefully, we can get more, uh, more city populated through, you know, good old fashioned. Getting busy, getting busy. Um, well, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> Whether it's going to work or not is another story. But guys, let's get over to the dogolith. We have to get a few of you guys up onto this dogolith, man. It has been a while. And uh, let's get some signages. And we're going to get eight of you on the dogolith. Four from dogpop.net and four from YouTube subscribers. And I think this wall has got space. Just enough space for two more dogolith entries. And then we're going to be onto the third story of the dogolith. That is absolutely incredible, man. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's get some of you guys onto the dogolith. Starting with YouTube subscribers. We've got Dark Shadows 729. Welcome to the Dogolith, my friend. Next up, we've got Mix Bike. Welcome to the Dogolith Mix. Oh, oops, there's not an S in there. Uh, mix, mix Bike. <laughs> uh, no idea how to pronounce that name. Uh, secondly, from, thirdly, from YouTube, we've got Njusaiko. Njusaiko. Welcome to the Dogolith Njusaiko. And we've also got Andrew lions so welcome to the dogolith my youtube subscriber buddies you have been immortalized in the interbubs forever and now from dogcraft.net we've got lm jelly larva <laughs> welcome to the dogolith jelly larva we've also got laffy a photic <laughs> no idea what that means man but it's kind of weird uh we've also got random random yeah, just good old random. I just had to check, second check myself there to make sure that that was right. We've got random, and lastly but not leastly, my friends, we have got Peter's Film PJs 27. <laughs> Welcome to the Dogolith, uh, my friends. That means, guys, we are on to the third level of the Dogolith. Can you freaking believe it? Oh no, we've got a couple places left over here. So almost onto the third level of the Dogolith, which is pretty freaking sweet. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, you know what to do, man. You smack that like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not subscribe so you can keep up with this series as well as all the other awesome series happening on this Ren Dog channel. But guys, for now, I'm going to sign out. This has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. Cannot wait to see you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye.